Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how to make this metallic FM bass wobble using Serum and Ableton Live. As always, I have preset and sample packs available in the description, along with this video's free preset, which is originally from my second Serum preset pack and please don't forget to like and subscribe. So we can start by creating a new MIDI track and bringing in a new instance of Serum, dragging the MIDI over from the previous instance and we can delete this previous instance. We can rename the new instance, turn it down by 10 dB, and I'm also going to color code it as well. So we're going to go to oscillator A within Serum. And we want a square wave. So we're going to go to the basic mini and choose the square wave. We want to take it down to octaves because it's a bass sounds. We can solo the channel so we can listen to the bass on its own. We can increase the unison to 16. We want to ensure Serum is monophonic, so we don't have bass notes overlapping and phasing with one another. I'm also going to increase the attack and the release of the amp envelope to avoid any pops or clicks at the start or the end of the sound. Now we can start to add the FM element using oscillator B. And again, we'll select the square wave from the basic mini, although you could use any square wave. This time, instead of putting the oscillator down two octaves, we want to increase it by two octaves. We'll also increase the unison to 16, as we did with oscillator A, but this time we're gonna take the level all the way down to zero. I'll go back to oscillator A and choose FM from B using the warp menu knob, and I'll increase its value to between 30 and 40. You can hear it's pretty abrasive right now. So we're going to initialize the low pass filter. This sound relies on two LFOs with different shapes and rates, meaning the patch has a lot of movement. For LFO one, you wanna create this sawtooth ramp up shape, switch the LFO to envelope mode and change the rate to two bars. Then we can drag LFO one to the filter cutoff and experiment with the modulation amount and the cutoff. With LFO2, we want to put it on trigger mode so that it triggers when a new MIDI note is played and continues to re-trigger for the duration of the note. We want to change the rate to 1 over 16 and drag the LFO to the filter cutoff. You also want to shift and alt click on the filter cutoff to get bi-directional modulation. And we can tweak the cutoff and the modulation amount to taste. Now we can start to process the sound. Since I do this in every bass tutorial, I'm going to put a more in-depth video describing this process on the screen and move quickly. I will leave an empty instrument rack in the description so that you can drag in this preset or any others. What we will be doing is replacing the sub with a sine wave for consistency and splitting the frequency areas using EQ3 so we can use multiband distortion. So we can start by grouping Serum to itself using Command G or Control G on Windows, duplicating it with Control or Command D within the instrument rack. And we can rename this to sub and rename this to top. For the sub, we want to use a pure sine wave taken down to the octave that the bass is in. So that's minus two. Then we can drag in 
and EQ3. Choose 100 and 700 as our values for each band and then drag and group these to the appropriate bands within the instrument rack. So for the sub, only the low is turned on. You can control or command drag to duplicate. I'm then going to group the EQ3 to itself. Duplicate it within the channel again. And then this is the mid-range frequencies. And these are the high frequencies. For the sub, we can drag in a compressor. Just make sure to drag in the compressor before the EQ. Otherwise, you may have some distortion. And this is to ensure the sine wave is even more consistent. This isn't going to make a huge difference here because it's just one sustained note. And we can add, firstly, a mono utility to the mid band. And we can drag in some overdrive and tweak it to taste. And we can drag in an overdrive for the high band as well and do the same. Might be best to listen in the mix. Fairly happy with that. I'm going to bring in an EQ8 to cut all but the lowest frequencies. Below the lowest harmonic of the bass. And I'm going to take out a little bit of the mid range because the sound feels a bit boxy. And I've got some reverb here on send A, and I'm going to send some of the bass to this reverb. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.